hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel today's tutorial diy project we're gonna do one of these flowers so i'm gonna show you guys how to do this easy diy paper flower so these are made out of cardstock paper you guys can get this paper at michael's i got two different colors here so what you would need for this project is cardstock paper it depends on how many flowers you want to create, so that depends on you. Um, so you need some, a pair of scissors to cut out your templates, which it, it will be these. Um, you can also just draw your templates. That's what I did. I just freehanded them and um, cut them. And you also need one of these. This is a bone folder. That's what it's called. You need this. You need this bone folder to do this to your petals. You're gonna wanna do uh, curve your petals this way before you start the project. I'm gonna show you guys how it's done. One step at a time. You're gonna need a hot glue gun and enough glue sticks. So that's pretty much all you need for this stuff. <clears throat> all right guys, so to get started, you're gonna need to cut out like I said, you can freehand your templates, your petals. These are like the rosebuds. You can freehand them and make them yourself. Or you can just go online on Google and Google whichever rose petal you think you would like. And just print it out and just trace it. You can just trace it and cut out your, your little rosebuds. So you need three sizes. You need a small, this is, this is the large rose. So it's gonna look more similar to this one. It's gonna be the big, large rose. So this one, you're gonna need three sizes, one small. So for the small one, you're gonna need eight of these little rosebud petals. So you see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, yeah. So you're gonna need eight of those. And then this is the medium size for those rose petals. And you're gonna need 12 of these, 12. So six of these small, 12 of the medium. And these are the large ones, six of the large. Okay, so let's get started. So first thing, so we're gonna start with the small. And like I said before, first we're just gonna put them together this way. You hot glue it. And I know if, if you guys haven't worked with a hot glue gun, a hot glue gun can be, the glue could be a little messy, so make sure you just circle around so you don't have to deal with glue everywhere you just glue this to the side of it like this see how it is and then you glue this one and this side. okay so then what you do now is you want to curve your rose petals so they can have a shape you see how they all have a shape you curve them up these the small ones are going to be curved up so you just curve the small petals up like this it doesn't have to be perfect you guys your template cuts don't have to be perfect or neither do your um, neither do the curves have to be perfect because it's going to look like perfect anyway once it's done so you want to go ahead and curve all of them before you put them on there it's a good idea I'll make it go by faster. I kind of already had curved these a little. So you just curve it, see, as much as you want. The more you curve, the better it looks. So that's gonna be the second step to the first step. The first step, we're gonna glue them together. <clears throat> and pay attention to these first step because this is the first the first step is done differently than all the other steps and let me show you why okay so let's say I curved all of these already okay you can curve some more if you like after you then put um more hot glue on more glue like I said make a little circle with the glue so it doesn't spill all over the place because and be careful guys, if you have not worked with the glue gun before, it is very hot, hot, hot glue. 
so you don't want to burn yourself either. So that's pretty much it for the first part. So you do a roast. This is you put it together, you haggle it together in four pieces this way, as you guys can see. The center doesn't matter that it looks this way. It kind of did it a little messy, but you won't be able to see it because the roast petals are gonna go up. Okay, so this is how it looks. Then what you do is you fold these two together like this. So then you're gonna put hot glue on the edges of the roast. So here, this is the beginning to your roast. Here. See that glue is going everywhere? <laughs> you, don't, you don't want that glue everywhere. So you put this in. First step, you hold it on there so it can stay nice and tight. <clears throat> nice and tight. You can add more glue so it can be tighter. I like my stuff really tight depending on so it can look better. So there you go. That's first step. Second step, turn this one. Do you do the same with this? You're gonna put it together the same way. So it's gonna go like this. So you can go the sides again. There you go. There you go. That hot glue is just it's a mess. So yeah, you glue this in. See how that hot glue's everywhere? <laughs> you do not want that to look. I don't like how that looks on the project that it's finished in it. You can still see it. See? Okay. So then you just keep on adding to it. So we fold it this way, we can fold it the opposite way now. We'll put the other rose petals. So you could do two at a time, you could do four at a time, whatever you feel comfortable with. I feel comfortable with two after this step, so I'm going to do two, and then this is the first step, so you go ahead, put it down here, put it on there, put this one on here. See, I'm gonna add more glue because I'm like how this is just hanging out here. You have to make sure it's nice and tight so it does not look sloppy. Okay, and then you repeat the same step. You're gonna fold this up again like this. So here we go. Put it on for this side. This step though, you want to put hot glue on both sides. Turn it. Hug glue on this one. Hug glue on this side. Okay. Hug glue this side. Like I said, this hot glue can turn messy, so make sure you circle it so it's not all over your pocket. Okay. All right. So you put this one down and then this one. And you wanna make sure, this is cardstock paper, you guys, so make sure that it stays on there. The glue finishes drying before you take your hand out, so like that, it sticks. You want it nice and cute and tight. See, so this is our rose petal starting to form the inside. This is this part, right here. Okay. One. So I like to do two and two. So I, the last, the last two I placed were right here. So I'm gonna place them on the opposite side. These last two. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Put this one. 
so this project is so easy to make guys and it looks beautiful as you guys can see I completed those in like I mean it takes longer to cut the rose petals so if you guys have a Cricut machine or something like that that can pre-cut you guys are already winning the game I don't have one of those so I just did it old school and I had to like I said shape my mine and cut them individually and it's a lot of cutting and that's what takes the most time the cutting part so basically this is what's starting to look from the bottom but the bottom doesn't matter because we're going to continue to add rose petals rose buds these are the rose buds the rose bud petals to it so then once again you do the same thing you're going to flip it inside inside this is the first step I don't really need glue, I need more glue. So yeah, you guys need <laughs> a lot of glue for this project, so make sure you get a lot of extra. So you don't have to stop your project in the middle of the project. So there you go, that one. Circle, circle, circle. And then this side. Okay, and then this side. All right, let's see here. So you want to add this one in here. You see how it nicely just bends in and folds in? That's what it's supposed to do. Just nicely fold it in. And you can feel it, that is hot, so be careful. <laughs> if you're sensitive to heat, be very careful because this hot glue is very hot. So this is the beginning of our rose bud. I kind of left it a little too open for my liking, but it's fine because <clears throat> you're not going to notice it as much. Okay, so, okay, so second step, guys. So now we finished the, our end center. This is the eight small rose buds. So now we move on to the middle ones. So the middle ones are going to be way more, 12 of them. And this is what's going to shape the rose completely. <clears throat> so for this one, just go ahead and curve them first. Just curve all of them first. Because this is placed in a different way than the first set of rose buds. So you see how we curve them? We can curve them up, whatever, curve them down. And curve them up or curve them down. But you want to make sure they all both face the same direction. All your rose buds are in the same direction. I think for me it's easier to curve them up. So this takes a little bit of time as well, but it's fine. Just so make sure you have a little that little curve to make them stand out. And then um we go on from there. So I think I did get this, these templates on Google. I just Googled with rose bud petals. And then I got different sizes for it. And then I just traced it with a pencil and then just cut them all by hand. Like I said earlier, if you guys have a Cricut or another way to cut them easier, that's totally awesome. You guys can do it that way as well. And they even have people on Etsy that are selling these rose bud templates. If you guys would like their rose bud templates, I mean, you guys can get those as well, but um, I wanted to make this project. I wanted to see how much I can make this project, and I didn't want to spend too much money on any of the pro anything. <laughs> so these sheets go on Michaels for like less than a dollar. They're like I don't know, 80 cents or something. And there's a lot of different colors. There's the glittery ones. There's all kinds of ones. So it's just cardstock paper. You can get it pretty much anywhere where they sell uh, paper. So it's cardstock paper. And then you pretty much so fold it, fold it, fold it. Okay. Alright, so then you start. So for these, what you're gonna wanna do, like I said, I go based on the pattern I finished. These two are the last ones that went in. 
So these, I'm gonna want them to go out. So these, you gotta be careful. The second set of rose petals, you see how they're curved up? You want these facing down, not up. Facing down, okay? Do not put them up. <laughs> you wanna put them down. So for this step, I like to do one at a time to make sure that they are good. And these are a large set of rose buds. So what you do is you just place it on there again the same way as the other one. But you gotta make sure that when you lift this rose bud up, you also put glue on the sides on this one, right? Because we're gonna put it on here. Try to put it like lower down because the rose bud on top, we want it to curve. Up. So, like I was saying before, make sure you place your index finger in the middle of it. Your other fingers on the other side. You want to make this little curve like this. You want to make it curve so it can stick out like this. I know this one has the little titles on it. <laughs> Totally fine. But you want to make it curve. Oh, you see this? Don't let that happen. Make sure it's nice and smooth. But yeah, so this curving part would have to be on top like this. Uh, make sure you curve them really well because, like I said, you want to get that form. This one is not cooperating whatsoever. I might have to use a new one. Oh yeah, I don't like how it looks. Hey guys, so like I said, for this one, you wanna make sure you have your rose butts curved. But for this side, you're not going to put them um, up. Like the first step, this step, you're gonna want to flip and you want the curved side to be on the opposite side. So you just hot glue this edge real quick. Hot glue it on the edge. And then you start from there. Make sure it's glued on there before you do anything, any other step. I'll glue this other side as well. So make sure you flip it because this side, this time we want the flip side to be on the opposite side. Okay? So you see it's a little messy, but we get it together. So there you go. So the first step, you curl up. The second step, you flip it, and it's gonna be the opposite. Sorry. And then, now what you wanna do is make sure that it's stuck on there on the bottom first. Okay? So now, you put, you wanna put the hot glue on the bottom of the edge, maybe in the middle if you like. Because this step is a little different. So then what you wanna do is you wanna hold the middle side of this rose bud with your index finger on this side and then your middle finger and your thumb can be on the other side so you can create that fold. You see how that folds? You create that fold and with the hot glue, you stick it on there. So you pretty much create a fold like that. So you want to make sure that you have enough, that you curve it enough so it can like curve and not weird. <laughs> as mine is a really shaped. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach my glue and get this bottom layer in side of the rose attached also okay so we attach this part 
still making sure that this part shows a little curve to it. So this is how it's gonna start looking. Like I said, hold it on there because this cardstock paper is a little difficult to work. It's a little harder, so it takes a while for the paint to grasp into the next. So there you go. <clears throat> then you do the next one. I like to do it on the edge, from the bottom all the way to the top almost. Okay. Swirl it around. Once again, and extend your up. And close. Close, close, close. So you see why we curve the edges of this is because we want that shape. We want to form that shape. So it's starting to look like a rose. See? Hold it on there to make sure it's nice and tight. And go on with the next. So once again, flip. The first four, I do like to make them the same way. Put them across from each other. So these two this way, and then these two will go this way because of the last two I did this way. All right, guys. So what you want to do is, like I said, you want to separate it. You want to do the opposite. So you do these two first, and then these two on this side. So you put a little bit of hot glue on here. Okay. Put this one on there. Make sure that it stays on there before you move on to the next step. Also, I was thinking you can also just add if you guys want to, you don't have to, but you guys can also add like little diamonds on here. So it's a little cuter, but that's up to your preference. I know these are uh, flowers or rose, but paper flowers. Um, they're cute for nurseries, um, home, home decor. Uh, backdrops, weddings, all kinds of stuff. Um, and I know they're kind of pricey on Etsy. <laughs> they vary from price to price because it is a task that takes a while to do. You know, like you have to take your time, you gotta make sure you have all your rose petals and rose buds cut, you know, to a certain way. And like I said, this glue is tricky to work with, so make sure you guys work with it. See, I don't like this looks, but. So yeah, index finger, put this one up. Let's see, so it's starting to form. The shape is starting to come alive. You can always add more glue to it if you don't feel like it's sticking enough. Yeah, this project takes a while to do because, you know, you have to, you're pretty much doing a handcraft and everything by hand, so I can see how this could go for a, while, for a little bit of, what, 100 to 200 a price on Etsy. Um, if you guys are interested, I can make it then for you as well for a small fee, depending. So let's see here. So you just make sure that these are on there. You don't want no. See, I don't feel like I fold it easy enough, but <laughs> I cannot be a perfectionist. I have tried to, to be a perfectionist, but the moment that I cannot be a perfectionist at the moment. So here we go. Continue the same steps over and over for the medium pieces and the large as well. 
so like I said we have 12 so then from here you just can place them wherever you want so they're not uniform so these four I did them this way right but now I want to get one on this side so you can just attach it sideways or something just wherever you feel like you need to put some just go ahead and do that because you don't want them uniform either so they can look like this See this rose rosewood cut up? They're everywhere. It looks like a nice blossom flower. So that's what you want to do. That's your goal to make it seem, you know, not as uniform, to make it seem nice and cute, like it blossomed. So that's what we're aiming for. Definitely need a lot of glue sticks. For this project, I'm already running out of that one. So make sure you have them in hand for this project. And like I said, make sure you have all your products available, like with you, because it is a hassle trying to go to the store and buy new products or whatever, or what have you. Um, so yeah, once again, you open it from here. And you just place it back on. I place it all there. You want to put it, since we have multiple of these, you want to put them. See, I don't like how this comes out. <laughs> See, sometimes the paper just does not want to stick or has a more hard time sticking or whatever the case may be. You want two little palms here and there, but it's still gonna come out beautiful. I can guarantee you there's that much. Make sure your buds are okay, nice and folded. I don't know why this looks different. It's not like looking how I expected it to look. But yeah, like I said, just you just want to fill, fill the flower out. You don't just want all your pieces in the middle side area. Hey guys, so as you guys can see, I'm almost done with this, the medium um, rose petals. I want to add the last one to it. So I feel like this space needs a little bit because it's looking a little lonely. So, same technique. We're still adding the same technique. Put it on the ground, on there. Underground, underneath the rose petal. Put it underneath, make sure it's secure. And then we're gonna move on after this one to the big, large rose buds. These are the big, large rose buds. See that? Okay, so then we're gonna add some glue to this. Like I said, these are more difficult to work with because they are huge. The flower is gonna get just bigger and bigger than if it were for the little ones. So these are a little bit harder to work with. <laughs> and two hands on this one on deck. So make sure you put it on there, hot glue it. And you hold it for a while because, like I said, you want to make sure it's secure before you continue with the process. So this is how it's looking so far. Okay. So now we have our big rosebuds. Same technique. We're still going to do the folding of the rosebuds. I think I need to practice this part a little bit more because these are not how I want them to fold, but it's okay. They're not folding as good as I want them to, but it's fine. So you just continue doing this. I'm gonna fold all of your rosebuds real quick and then add them to your rose. See how it's turning into a beautiful big rose. Okay, be careful, you don't want to rip the <laughs> cardstock 
your rose cardstock paper. <laughs> bud, but see, I think I need a more technique practice with those, but it's okay. So for this third part, we're going to do the same technique we did on the second part, which we curve these up and we want to place them the same way, down with the curved part facing down. So when we fold them, it just, it looks the same as these. So this is why we curl our rope spuds. So here we go. This is a big, 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 big flower. <laughs> so I need two hands to even maneuver around it. And then once you're done, you can also just, if you feel like you want to curve some more, you can curve the rose buds at the end as well. A little bit to make them stand out a little bit more. So yeah, same technique. So wherever you feel that there's some missing. I feel like I need to put one here. So that's what you do. Flip this around. Do not place it on the other side. If you do place it on that side, it's totally fine. Um, you can either try removing that from the hot glue if you place it on the other side and then you notice, or you can just try to curl it the opposite. So even though it's curled this way already, Curl it the opposite way, so like that you can get that beautiful curl. Um, yeah, so basically you do the same technique as the middle roll buds. Put a lot, a lot of hot glue gun, <laughs> a lot of glue. Yeah, make sure you guys have a, like, like an extra pack of glue because this is just running through my glue. This project. Okay, so you go on here. Make sure it's nice and warm. And same technique. You want to put your index finger in and just attach that bait, that rose bud to your petal. Attach it on there. There you go. See, at the end, you can just mess with the petals and flip on my for whatever form you want. So, here you go again. And that's pretty much it, guys. You pretty much do the same technique over and over until you complete all of your rose buds, which you should have six. But you want to make sure that you cover all the spaces that you feel like need uh, the rose bit, the rose buds in. And if you guys have any other questions, any questions about this project, you can comment down below. I will be happy to answer any questions you guys have. And thanks for watching, you guys. This is uh, this is where, well, I'll end it in a minute once I'm done with these. I'm going to watch me put all of these on there. But let's see here. All right. Hey guys, so this is the finished product for my rose petal. It came out amazing, I loved it. So, this is how it comes out. If you have any questions about any of this, you can go ahead and comment down below. This is a small rose bed petal, and this is another small one. And that's the pink large. I also did these, which they're not attached yet, but this is like a gold color. Beautiful. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Hope you liked this tutorial. If you did, please go ahead and like, comment down below if you have any questions, and I'll see you guys on my next DIY video. Thanks for watching, guys.